Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Okay, here's your tip on uh, keeping gaboons. Uh, people have been asking me for this. When you see gaboons, you know, like on the window, in the back, looking generally agitated, uh, 99.99999% of the time it's because someone took a mega dump and this is the case. Uh, they don't like to be around their own poo and in close quarters they're really stuck. Uh, <laughs> you can see the male is like back there. I didn't do it, I didn't do it, she did it. And the girl's over here like, oh my god, get me out of this cage. So, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, try to work around them in their agitated state and uh, get the pile of poo out. I bet it was you, young lady, because he already took a dump. I know, I see you, bud. Hi, bud. Well, hi there. How you doing? I know, that's a nasty glare. Oh, she's after my hand already. Ooh. Are you hungry already? It's not the weekend yet. We will attempt to survive watering uh, the pogo stick here. As you can see, she's very alert and uh, very, very quick and agile. Uh, perhaps, uh, you know, these, these guys are speed demons, the Eastern Browns, the uh, Mulga Snakes and stuff. These guys have a, have speed of, they have an ability that uh, I think surpasses easy, easy. It surpasses those guys because I have to let her know that this is a watering visit, not a food visit. Not that she, again, a tropical snake that really doesn't like water. This is exceedingly dangerous, but keeping her hydrated is absolutely essential. Come on. And she doesn't like to drink. Come on. Come on, girlie. All right, all right. She wants food. She doesn't want uh, water. Hmm. It's always a problem. How are you, big, big girl, huh? You're all flat. How come, huh? Come on. All right, you're going to take it. There you go. Good job. Now, this is the same age as the big one in the cage over there. Same litter. Um, and same as the other one in the other cage that just eats geckos. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't get upset, just eat. Um, you know, geckos nutritionally just aren't the uh, uh, the thing that really promotes growth. It's just the way it is. Smaller guy gets it. You look like you're in shed. Do you want that? Hmm? I don't want to leave it with you and have it uh, here in the morning. You're not so enthusiastic. Let me give it to your brother or sister. Here, do you want that? <laughs> I guess so. It, it'll eat it. it. That's normal. Now, progress report. Look at that. He's getting chubby. Uh, he ate a, uh, a hopper today, and he actually ate a frozen thawed one the other day. Um, we're making progress, and... 
he's growing, he's shedding, he's pooping, uh, and uh, I'm not having to wrap my little fingers around his head, which makes me a very happy camper. There you go. Very shy animal, though. Holy cow. Okay. Oh, chomp. That was quick. Yeah, it's a pretty heavy duty chomp, too. It's a very solid hit. Yeah, these guys, uh, these guys do pretty well. <clears throat> hey, girly. Oh. Oh, what, a was that the, the throw the mouse off? No, oh, I'll just go shooting by and then come around and grab him. <laughs> what? Uh, yes, I know she's here. There you go. There. Now, go ahead and eat that. Ready, bud? Huh? Here, that's a good meal for you. So, oh, yeah, you need a cleaning. Here. What are you after? Yeah, that's what you're after. Wow, has someone slipped him some Prozac? There you go, that's the right spot. Open your mouth, come on. Hey, don't be taking that away from me. There you go. Hey. Easy. There you go. Yeah, that did it. These guys like bad breath. Hey! <laughs> really needs a cleaning. Still not as bad as the popcorn. Yes, these aren't as bad as the popcorn culvers, which we're going to feed next, by the way. Hey. Oh, goody. I see you're a little opaque, but would you like a snack? Huh? What is that? It's all over the place. That was a good shot. Oh, I know, I know. I'm just such a meanie. Here. Here. We're here to feed you. Spider. There you go. Trying to hiss with a mouthful. See, some of them are quite tidy and keep a wet side and a dry side. Um, Sniff. Hmm. Hey, okay. Here, I'll even flip it over for you. There you go. <laughs> it's amazing that cobras uh, actually survived long enough to evolve. They're uh, very wacky. Aren't you a beauty, huh? So, huh? You have to really be careful. Okay. Here, I'm going to make it easy on you because you never know where these little suckers are going to go. They are springy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a 
Well, here's our young male East African gaboon. Don't know if he's in the food mood for food. Especially since he's in that position. I would say probably not. I think it's like, what the hell are you bothering me for? Oh, tail wagging. See, I told you, he's like, why are you bothering me? I didn't ask to be fed. See, in the, uh, you know, just like the great Darth Vader, if they don't want to eat, they don't mind telling you so. That's all defensive posture, but, you know, he, he, he knows it's food. He just has to put up a fuss. After all that, you're going to eat it. What a faker. What a faker. A showman. Huh? That was pretty damn impressive. I'm really pissed off, Viper Keeper. You went and disturbed me. Oh, all right. I think I'll have just one. Hi, Weasel. Hi, Weasel. How you doing, bud? Well, no, you stay right there. I'll bring it to you. All right, you ready? Easy. You don't, there's no reason to hit it hard. There you go. Good job. Well, you're just going to hang out at the uh, window? This is the takeout window. Come on, hurry up. Let's see. I'm sure Miss Simus will uh, will take a mouse. Oh, I guess so. Are you happy? Are you happy, huh? You have to remember, Moorish vipers go from happy to evil in a nanosecond. Well, hello, Miss uh, Ottoman. How are you doing? Huh? Would you like a mouselet? Huh? Oh, you would? Well, I think that's your idea of a strike, huh? There you go. I don't play with Miss Ottoman too much. It's funny, I've never seen her pick uh, pick her prey up like that before and eat it. That's pretty cool. Is that a little chewy, huh? Is that a little chewy? You want another? You gotta come over here. What? Oh, well here. I'll leave that right there. You can uh, uh, do with it what you wish when you finish with whatever your problem is. Is that a small mouse and it's not, uh, it's not for, doesn't go far enough down for your uh, neck muscles to grab it and propel it, huh? 
those guys are done. Well, there you go, huh? That wasn't so bad. Oops, sorry, bitch. Would you like another one to wash that down? Oh, I guess so. Wow, no hesitation on that one. Normally, animals will get a, one small prey item a week. Or <clears throat> occasionally I will treat them to two. Yep, light's going off here in... Uh, in this particular room. What? No, the camera is not anything to eat. Or, do you think that that is somebody coming to take your mouse? You know, these, these guys, you know, all my snakes seem to uh, they're not wanting for food. They get certainly uh, probably more than they really need. But uh, you try to take uh, something from them or another snake uh, cage mate tries to take it from them. Holy cow. Whole, all hell breaks loose, right? Huh? All right. You'll get mm, something a little uh, more when I... Throw some rats or something, or some maybe a chick. Yeah. Okay, watch out. Shutting the door. That's all for today. Go on, get the tail in. Good job. Look at him. Isn't he pathetic? <laughs> He's a character. Miss Simus, would you like another? She's very precise. Mr. Collette, you interested in a snack? Well, you are. What, it's not dirty enough for you? You have to rub it through the, uh, uh, the substrate to get all sorts of stuff on it, huh? Mmm. You must like roughage. Well, yeah, that's a bit uh, yucky. You stay there, Mr. Collette, and I'll grab you another uh, mouse off the Barbie. Easy. Mr. Collette is, is very much a... Uh, a shy snake. Is that better? Is, oh, that one's all wet and stuff. And hey, you still managed to get some substrate with it. And the Jamie's now realized that there's mice in the room. Easy, Mr. Collette. Easy. He's not only afraid of me, but he's afraid of uh, one of the prey items putting the bite on him. He's very careful and chooses uh, his uh, contact point very carefully. So the rodent's uh, uh, pointy end is, is in a way that it's not going to affect him. Huh? 
Well, you know, that wasn't very nice. I was going to do uh, Mr. Collect Cam. There you go. Mr. Collect Cam. Well, he moved away again. Oh. Is that your blood or his blood? We don't often get reasonable f footage of Mr. Collect because he's very shy, but we'll take advantage of this and rather than me feed some other critters, uh, uh, these are small enough that I can just give him what I have left and uh, take advantage of his, his generous mood. Easy, bud. Easy, easy, easy. Here we are. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Brown has realized uh, that the uh, mice are in the room. Oh, Mr. Collect Cam. Here we go, Mr. Collect. See? I'm not going to hurt you. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Mr. Collette, let's take uh, yourself. No, I don't have any more. Come on. It would not be a very smart thing to do and put one's fingers near that window right now because he would uh, grab it.